Hello, everybody all over the world. I am GPS, and this is my show. Hi, GPS, as in heavy is general problem solver, and we solve problems here on this show, Shorto. And today is episode 24, and we're going to be looking at this thing, the Ubersaw. Yes, the unlock for the medic. What does it do? Well... It does a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, it makes you swing slower than the regular bone saw, which you already have. Everybody has that. But on every hit you land on an enemy that's not a disguised spy, you get 25% uber charge. So that means if you land four hits on an enemy of any kind except a spy, you will gain a full uber charge. Um... Uh, and that's it. So we're going to be looking at the Uber Saw today and how to like play with it, like how you can incorporate strategies with it. Uh, I can just let you know immediately, like the main strategy for this is that you finish off enemies. And if you have like good synergy with your team, let's say you get like a spy, like uh, you isolate him from the rest and he's like almost dead anyway. Just don't kill him. Let the medic kill him and the medic gets 25% Uber, which means you get Uber 25% faster. This is some stuff I really wanted to show today as well, uh, which I couldn't, which was um, Medic Train, as I like to call it, or as they call it, Gay Medic in Korea. Not sure why they call it that, but you have two Medic, both have Uber Saw, and one gets an Uber, and he Ubers the other Medic, and he uses the Uber Saw, hits people four times, get full Uber, they switch, and the other Medic does the same thing, and they switch back and forth, back and forth. The only thing about this tactic is that it wor doesn't work if the enemy has, like... A pyro or a sentry that doesn't work really well. Uh, none of that today, though, unfortunately. Also, I have some announcements to make, and that is I have a Steam group. <laughs> exactly, and you can join that Steam group. The Steam group is in the description below on the picture. If you see a picture or not, it's really cool. It's steamcommunity.com slash group slash high GPS or something like that, and the group has... All kinds of information about the shows. There's like a schedule when the next show is going to be. And if you're in game, it pops up like, hey, the show is live now. You can totally, 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 totally uh, see, you know, stuff like that. And also, uh, I like to get feedback and you can post on comments there. Like if future stuff you want to see, like I want to see how to use like the bonk thing for scout. Uh, I can make an episode about that when we get to the scout. So yes, that is it. Today we look at the medic and the uber saw and let's just get right into that. So I've already loaded up a replay here, and I've gotten more RAM today. Four gigabytes more, but it doesn't seem to be doing much, I think. But that is not important. We are on the map Halo Barn Splits. We have a team that has two medics. The other team has only one medic, but two heavies. We do not have a heavy at the moment. We are currently um, engineer and some other stuff. Yeah, so uh, pretty even teams. Uh, the fact that the enemy team's probably going to whack us when we run out the gates here. As you can see, I'm quite dashing in my um, in my thingamajig. So this is Payload Bar Splits, uh, Payload Map. Just admiring uh, the uh, spray. He said, oh, look at that handsome guy. Who, who's that? Who's that? Is that my spray? Yes, indeed it is. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Mission begins in 10 seconds. All right, all right. So we're going to have to push out. Let's see what's outside here. Well, there's a heavy and a medic. Uh, we have two Ubers. They only have one. So let's see how this goes. So, as you might have noticed, I like a lot of new players, they are not aware of this, but uh, you should attack more. <laughs> Look at this, we have two full Ubers. We're just literally waiting for our team to run out. Do they run out? Well, not at first. They're kind of disturbing back in the base, and I Uber that Pyro, and then he goes out. Alright. So, you're running out, burning people, gets the extinguisher kill on the heavy. Try to hit the demo with my Uber saw, it doesn't quite work. I wanted to extend the Uber, not successful. And look at this. The Heavy, as you know, is big, fat, and stupid, and this Heavy, we'll be seeing him a lot today, because he's in a lot of the replays. You can, he has, like, the big chief and the planets running around him. And apparently having this hat gives you the ability to never, ever fucking turning around under any circumstances whatsoever. So, that means, uh, I'm gonna be able, like, look at this position here. Like, I'm sneaking up from behind him, I'm, like, pretending I'm a spy, and, uh, he's very busy shooting at these people. So, most likely, I'll get up one stab, two stab. Almost three stabs. If the spy didn't kill the heavy for me, I might have gotten four stabs, and that is a full Uber, ladies and gentlemen. But I got 75% Uber, which is a lot more than the enemy medic has, because there's no way he had landed any hits on any of us that I saw. So we're at an Uber advantage right now, and you always want to be at an Uber advantage, because Ubers are fucking kick-ass, and they kill everything if used correctly. Or they can be a really major disappointment if your team is just going, <laughs> We got Uber. <laughs> Stuff like that. So, um, 
So the enemy team has some defense up here, uh, I'm sure. I hear a sentry around here. Is there a sentry around here? Boop, boop, boop. Let's see if there's a sentry here. Ba, ba, ba. Yes, indeed, there's a sentry. Oh, there's a lot of sentries in there, yeah. Sentries that don't have enough dispensers. <laughs> you know how that's going to go. Yeah, exactly. It's going to tear everything up. So I have a full Uber right now. And I was like, all right, Pyro, let's do this. And this is pretty good synergy. Right as we we're about to run in. This is that we Uber. They're like, yeah, there's stuff in here. Let's just go in. A spice actually start has actually sat both of the sentry guns, and the other sentry gun is missing for some reason. So we just run in and tear the entire place apart. Seeing how the spy can be useful, you know, right before a major push, all that jazz. Very good. The heavy is here. Want my pirate to go and help me, but he's busy elsewhere. He has a plan I'm not aware of. Sticking to the low ground, as you know, in the positioning episode, being higher than your opponent is really good because you decide when you engage. And then I get a crit uber saw right in the face of that soldier, giving me 25% uber, which is also really good because the faster you get uber, the better. So we had an awesome opening, right? We went in and we killed a bunch of stuff. See the medic here, stabbing in twice. Yeah, now we're up at 75% uber and a full uber actually. And we bring this guy out of panic and uh, he decides that it, in order to attack this sentry gun, we need to run to the left where we cannot see the sentry gun. Why, yeah, totally. And then I run in at the front, notice that a medic, the general rule about playing a medic is generally when you don't have Uber, stay in the back. When you have Uber, stay in the front. Uh, because remember, it's not one guy that's invulnerable. There's two guys that's invulnerable, one that can shoot, hopefully, and one that just there, which is you, the medic. So we see the heavy run around a corner and get immediately obliterated while we try to push the cart. Seeing a scout here, but he's very suspicious. That might be a spy, yes. And the thing is, like, the spy actually decloaked, so I actually got off a 25% uber there as well. So now I'm uh, looking very good, even though I just popped uber. Uh, very um, preferable to any kind of situation to have more uber always. I think uh, the uber cell works the best with the medigun and not necessarily the crit screen. Uh, mainly because you can extend the uber, so we'll be looking at that a bit later. So as you can see, uh, we did pretty well, but then uh, our team decided that they wanted to go... Uh, and, you know, die one by one as a team. And here I actually got tricked by the pyro. I was running back, and I hear medic, like, oh, someone, oh, it's an enemy calling for a medic, shit. But that doesn't matter, because the soldier came to save the day. Pyro is a bunch splattered. The soldier falls down. Probably most, uh, you know, the most useful person in the game. The sniper with a bow and a razorback. Not really useful at all, especially not here. And now we have another. Oh, Alright, we got three medics. We have really nobody to heal. And keep in mind that spies, snipers, and medics, they are support classes. If they don't have anything to support, they will not do very well. So I have a pyro, a uh, full uber. I want to use this, but the pyro is uh, busy um, being back in the base for some reason. And I want to get this heavy to go in. Uh, just, yeah, just kill these. Wait a second, wait. Just, I need to heal. Oh, heavy heat. He already left, and he is already dead, so... My bad there, sorry bro. I uh, wanted to, like, not make you die, but yeah, I guess the uber spy will have to do for now. Enemy uber spy as well, ubering a soldier. That decides going not with the medic is better than going up to the high ground without him, for some reason. And as of now, our, our attack is pretty dirt because people are of this, uh... Perception, I guess, that, like, yeah, we just made an attack. And we did very well, and we attacked, and we like destroyed the enemy. I guess I'll change class into spy or sniper. That just makes me go. So typical for, <laughs> especially Korea. It's like, hey, we won. Let's change class into something that totally fucking sucks. <laughs> like, oh, we wouldn't want to win. I just who wants to win? No it is. So you see, it's kind of hard to push forward now. We have a heavy. Ooh. Shit, so it's kind of hard falling back here with the medic. Remember, leaving your friends to die is okay as long as you're a medic, because you know you have the Uber and you can be a total bitch about it as much as you like. So we see uh, the uh, heavy here taking quite a fighting from the over heavy and dying, and we're falling back and things are not going our way. Trying to grab a health kit, because remember, when you're a medic, you got dibs on every single med head med kit on the map. So if you see a scout that has a uh, that is at 124 health, which is one health less, and he takes the health in front of you, you're allowed to kill him. And by kill him, I mean go to the other team and just, you know, go heavy or something and kill the fucking scout. You know, that's what I do. 
You're a part of me, you're a part of the other team. I'll make the other team, whatever. And then I get shot in the head and thankfully this sniper put me out of my misery and I got able to change class and then we lost because my team went derp. So yeah, that was the intro game. You saw, like, we were behind the heavy, we stabbed him in the back with the uber saw, gaining a lot of percent there, and that's pretty much the whole thing that is to the uh, uber saw. So we're going to be going to the user-submitted replay for today, which is by Virus again. And he shows us a pretty good example of uber extension. Um, the fail kind, not the win kind, but the fail kind, because his team was not very supportive. Because remember, if you play a medic, you need someone to heal, and that is super ultra important. Uh, also, like to note that I have a Steam group you can join. It's in the description below. You should join that for all kinds of goodies. Don't use Twitter that much because I don't use that that much. I use the group to schedule stuff there. So here we go. Here we have Mr. Virus with his uh, cool uh, yellow pickle haub. With this uber saw, I'm gonna attack. Gonna be doing some funky business today. So he's running over to Fort completely by himself because his team is three engineers, mostly snipers and pyros. And um, yeah, this is uh, yes indeed. Don't pay attention to the corners. Nothing happened there. Seeing a soldier with the equalizer, knowing he can hit him in one hit because you know he was running fast. Uh, we covered this in the soldier episode where we talked about where, um, like, is the equalizer better than the shovel? Yeah, most of the times it is, but it also gives away information that you're low on health. So, uh, if you see a soldier that's running really fast against you and you have the uber saw, just stab him in the face. Uh, works really well. Hang on, I gotta check some, some settings real quick. Alright, um, da, 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 never mind that. That is not important right now, because you can see it. Yes, back to the game, back to Virus. He actually got um, a few uh, percentage down, and then he decides to go down the sewer, and now I would start shooting, but we have a Devilman here that he gets killed because he was taunting for some reason. Now he's in the sewer all by himself. His team is totally useless. Uh, I mean, look at this. He's the only medic. There's like three pyros, two snipers, three engineers, and three scouts. That's like probably the worst team you can have. Uh, maybe more more spies would be good. So here we see him just taking a chill for a bit. Uh, you know, don't want to exhaust yourself while you're at two fort. You know, being in the sewer in the sewage is quite preferable. And here comes the enemy. Let's see if we can get some hits off. Ooh, there's a demo down there. Should go, go take him. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna sneak up on him. All right, we're not gonna shoot the arrow. The syringes in his back. We're gonna surprise him. And there he is. All right, one hit, two hit. Through it, yes, full charge, nice. Perfect example of using the Uber saw to get a uh, full Uber. But notice there's one flaw in Virus's um, strategy. He has no teammates. So it's like, yes, like I can become invulnerable, but I can't kill anyone. But let's see what we mean by Uber extension. So we see him here like this. It's pretty bad. It's one medic all by himself versus an engineer. Demo man and another medic. And his team is... Uh, all the way back in their base is where they're at. So there he pops the Uber and pulls up the Uber saw. Gets one hit, extends by 25%. Yes. Get up another hit, extends again. And he gets up another hit and extends again. Wow, he's on a roll. And then the sentry just fucking kills him because that's what happens. <laughs> Um, so he probably got his uber to last, like a normal uber lasts about 8 seconds, he probably got it to last like 12 or something like that, but it was a very good try, too bad his team fucking sucked. So, thank you very much Virus for that submission, and we'll just move on to the next replay, which is gonna be on Viaduct, the snow version, not the summer one. So, uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of team working very well together and team not working together at all. Because as a medic, you generally want to heal a power class. And a power class is either soldier, demo man, or heavy. I mean, pyros work, but not as, like, mainly, uh, main damage dealers. Because pyros are very weak against heavies and sentries and other stuff. So, uh, we keep attacking, you know, uh, stuff like that, healing everybody, keep in mind, healing everybody will actually make you gain uber faster, even if nobody's taking damage, because, uh, making the overheal charges faster than if they're already full heal. And the stuff going on here, we want to take the point, healing everybody, looking around, because keep in mind, as a medic, you want to always be moving back and forth, 
And you always want to be, uh, have full control. Look at this position here, for example. Like, is this a good position? Yes, indeed it is. Why is it a good position? Well, they can see clearly see the Ghostbusters uh, healing ray of awesomeness over here. And the thing is, like, if they decide to kill a heavy, they can't because it's healed, and that is the most broken thing in the game. You know, can't kill an overhealed heavy. And if they go for me, well, then the heavy just shoots them in the ass and they die regardless. So that's actually a pretty good uh, situation there. Also, I have room to either engage with the heavy or fall back here. So it's generally, generally pretty good. Uh, also note that I'm also not uh, slowing the fuck down, I'm always moving around. And um, you don't always have to pay attention to where your guys are attacking. Uh, like, I don't need to make sure a heavy shoots his targets, that's sort of his job, so I will trust him on that. The enemy team is pushing on a point with an uber heavy, and uh, just falling back, building more uber, because if we can pop the uber after they've popped it, we'll be at an advantage for a little while. So there we pop the uber. Soldiers on the point, dealing some damage, but not enough. I'm just standing on a point. I'm not sure if the sniper's looking at me, but I'll start moving immediately after the Uber's over to, uh, you know, be unpredictable and stuff. And also, jumping and ducking is really useful as medic as well. Notice we haven't really gotten to using the Uber saw that much because no situation has been presented yet. This mostly goes to, like, the primary, secondary, and, like, third priority of the weapons because. Primary weapon is what you use the most, and secondary is like backup, and third is the melee and that's like last resort. So I see a spy here, and I'm gonna try and kill him. Let's see where to go. There he is. He's not disguised yet. All right, getting 25% Uber off of him. Having my team help me kill him, and then I heal my team, and we're ready to go. We're ready to go again. All right, all right. Moving up, moving up. Stuff going on. Stuff going on. Okay. We're gonna capture the point again. Running back and forth, popping the Uber. Notice that I try to be in the front, but the Pyro pushes us back. It's kind of hard to do that. The Pyro Ubering multiple people at once because you can do that. And here we have a Pyro. He's using his secondary weapon to kill an overhealed heavy, an overhealed over soldier, and an overhealed medic. Use your fucking flamethrower. Just burn him. He's like, no, I'm gonna use the um. What's it called? I'm gonna use the. Well, this is gonna be my derp glasses from now on. These used to be my awesome glasses, but these are not the derp glasses. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pyro, and I'm gonna use the flare shooter gun, like the detonator, because that one is really good. <laughs> yes. Not the flare gun, it's the one that blows up. Um, this is the one that goes pew, boom, like fireworks. Seeing a scout there. Also, keep in mind that as a medic, you can defend yourself. Uh, like, also, with the Uber saw, if you use that a lot. You um, become sort of like spice. If you kill a spy more than three times in a row, it's gonna be afraid. Just flanking around the pyro, gonna try and get a Uber saw on the thing. And look at this. Now, this is pretty good. The pyro is retreating, right? So I'm just gonna block him and stab him in the back. And I got 25% Uber and it's gone. It's very good. So uh, that's something we're gonna see more today is that you just block someone from moving and you just stab them in the face with the Uber saw. Gaining more, you get the kill and you get the Uber. Doesn't work in every situation, though, but most of the time. So now I'm on fire, falling back. Pyro really wants to kill me. Let's see if I can get. Oh, we're getting help from a scout. I almost got full Uber. Seeing a spy around here. Do not waste excessive amount of time just chasing down a spy because it's not worth it, especially if you're a medic. You know, I decide to die instead of you know chasing down a spy because dying is so much more fun. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. There we go. So yeah, that was the first map today. And just to show you like how good medic can be in combat sometimes under the right conditions. Uh, I will show you now. Same map, same team, only that my team now started to uh, suck. We have two medics and no one to really heal. And we're in overtime. And look at this. Two scouts, one sniper, dead NG, and a medic. Let's see how this goes. All right, up with the Uber saw, stabbing the scout to that, using my little guns, performing around, surfing around. The sniper can't hit me. Get up here, kneels in your face, going on the point, but you know, killing everybody has a medic with a syringe gun is really hard. Doesn't uh, go well. About to fall back, and then I burn to death. Not a big surprise. <laughs> So yeah, that was a small example of showing that you can actually do damage. Just be a boss and just stab him in the face and...
be awesome. It's better than what you're gonna do. So, uh, also, uh, as a medic, I really like spies because I'm always looking around, always turning around, and as we've established so many times before, the counter to spies is just turning around like this. It's like, is there a spy behind me? Yes. Kill him. It's not that hard. So when you're a medic, you will generally, like when I play medic, I always look around. I don't necessarily pay that much attention to uh, looking forward, as you can see in some of the uh, these plays here. So I'm generally trusting in my team that like this heavy will be able to make sure nobody gets past him, like spies and stuff. So I don't have to be worried about being stabbed in the back from the front when I'm looking like standing in the wrong direction. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. So here we have a scout just doing some damage on the heavy. Nothing too much that we can handle because the overhealed heavy is, of course, in by in by in by broken, imbalanced uh, thing ever, which is not a which is not a joke. <laughs> it's a joke, relax. So um, we're still here with my team. We're just waiting for everyone to gather up, healing everybody. Ooh, I see a spy he cloaking, and I want to get. Uh, stab on him with the Ubersaw, but he hits me quite a lot, and then I decide to fall back. Do not want to take any unnecessary risks as medic. Keep that in mind. If you think you're gonna die, run away, alright? Do not do not lose any kind of Uber. Because uh, as a medic, you are indeed the master of survival, so if you know, like, hey, in this situation, if I keep going like this, my team is gonna die regardless of what I do, so I'll just leave him to die and serve the Uber. So now we have full Uber, and we're gonna show you probably uh, something very kick-ass. If you thought uh, Uber Heavy was kind of good, check out this Uber Soldier and Demo Mix. This is actually really, really good. So up here, we have a Heavy and a Medic uh, broken in the thing, and we have some other dudes. And let's look at this. Here goes the Uber soon. There we go. Soldier comes in, gets a crit rocket. Uber both of them, killing everybody, jumping over and getting a snipe on the Medic there. And now we're getting uh, control over the map, so generally you see demo men and soldiers are freaking freaking awesome, but they're really medic dependent, so if you have them, you're the medic, uh, tell your team to stop playing sniper and spy and scout and tell them to just go fucking demo men or soldier and let the ass rape begin of the other team. So now we're falling back, we just poked in, killed a bunch of guys, and we want to like maintain this position while I wait for our team that is busy playing grab ass back in the base. Do, 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 falling down, grabbing the health kit, because keep in mind you have dibs on your health kit. Um, if you're being healed by a medic, and you're being healed, and you're low on health, and the medic is low on health, let the medic grab the fucking health back. Don't hog it for yourself, you jerk. Let him have it. You know, he'll save your ass for it. So now we have full uber again, ready to do another push here. And, uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. Still haven't quite managed to put on the point yet. And here I actually pop the Uber to save the soldier because I want the soldier alive because he's good and he has like the grandpa moustache and everything. So now I switch to the Uber saw on the point to get the cap going faster. Keep in mind you can do like ninja caps with that uh, when you're a medic, like you're fully Ubered and you have no one to heal and uh, then you die like that. Uh, that just showed at the end there what happened was that the soldier left my side. And then I was totally open and I got sandwiched between a scout and a spy. Not a good position if uh, if you want to, you know, stay alive or anything like that. Uh, also, uh, if you play on a crit server that has random crits, believe in the crits. <laughs> that you will hit with crits and they won't hit you with crits. That is the general idea. So believe in crits. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to load up the next replay here. It's going to be on the map payload upward. And already from the start, we have an interesting choice of direction from the soldier. I mean, the shortest way out is this way. So I just go, yeah, we're going to go right up here. And the soldier's like, yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, hi, medic. I saw you before, yeah? It's about five minutes ago. And then he decides to rocket jump out. So, you know, nothing too you know, important, but it's kind of dumb. So we're pushing the cart, you know, doing the objective, because keep in mind, killing the enemy does not win you the game. Doing the objective wins you the game, and killing the enemy is only necessary when they block you from doing the objective, which we're gonna see in a Dust Bowl series later on in this replay. So, just uh, pushing the cart here, uh, a bunch of people on the cart, doing the damage loss of soldiers, which is good when you're a medic. Pyro comes here, trying to burn everybody, using the syringes, dealing extra damage, getting... <laughs> I actually get the kill on the Pyro in the air. Bad, not bad, not bad. Soldier jumps in, yes, hitting it once with the Uber saw, gaining more uh, Uber, reloading. Still not full Uber yet, but like with 25% more there, but just because of the Uber saw. 
And you saw the situation, how it was presented. Like, he was really open and he had to reload. Just keep in mind, soldiers are really vulnerable when they need to reload. So if you can count to four, one, two, three, four, he has to reload, go stab him. So, also notice that I'm trying to keep as much cover as possible. Um, you see, I'm not standing in the open because there might be, you know, snipers up here that might shoot you in the head. And um, counter to medic is shoot him in the head, you know, obviously. So just look at this, just taking generally a lot of cover, always moving, trying to be as unpredictable as possible. Trying to be like the, the sheep herding dog, trying to gather everyone. It's like, yeah, the heal's over here, let's get him, all right. Uber is popped on this Tomislav Heavy and switching the Uber up to the demo man because I want to show my team that you can actually attack together. And now, yeah, we made a good push. The enemy spawn is here, right? We should fall back and push the cart, but they're like, no, we're going to run into the enemy spawn and die because that's a lot better. So I'm like, oh shit, I'm by myself with the spy and the soldier and I'm a medic. My team is herpiderping back in the base and herpiderping in the enemy spawn. So let's see how this goes. Yes, getting an Uber sauce slice in the spy's face using my syringe gun. Hitting the soldier once, missing twice, gonna try and fall back, but I'm super low on health. And soldiers beat medic, pretty good. But at least I killed the spy and I put up a good fight. If I had anything extra backup, like anyone else, that soldier would have died because he was super low on health. How do I know that? Well, after a while, you know, get like this feeling of how much health people have. And that's really useful while you, you're playing medic. If you play medic and you have enabled the uh, damage... Thing that makes you able to see uh, the damage you're doing. You will also be able to see the damage the ones you're healing are doing. So if you see a lot of damage being dealt, you can actually take the opportunity to stop healing and just actually hit them with the Uber sign, gain 25% more Uber. Uh, which is pretty darn good. Uh, I think the Uber saw is like <laughs> mandatory for anyone I want to be a good medic. Uh, people are like often ask, but yeah, but the wider saw, it lets you keep like 20% of the Uber when you die. And then I just say, yeah, so your strategy is dying more. <laughs> you want to have less health and die easier. That is your strategy. I just say, be a boss, go with the Uber saw, and just stab people in the face with it, you know. Gain more Uber. So just checking if that sniper was a spy. He's not. He's, uh, he's a pumpkin of sorts. And I see a spy in the distance. I'm like, dude, there's a spy there. Spy. You know, if anyone on your team says spy, just look around and see if there's a spy. And I've warned them pretty early. I mean, I warned them that there was a spy coming. When the spy was here, all right? He, this is where he was, all right? And he ran this entire distance. There's, this is where he is. And there he comes. I'd be like, spy, spy. I hit a spy once, and he actually gets a kill on our sniper because snipers are apparently bet death and blind for spies, apparently. So here we, I like stab the spy. I got some people there, heavy healing heavy. Does not realize that's a spy until it's too late. Stabbing him with a crit, getting the kill on him anyway. And look at this. What is this? What's that? Hmm. I wonder what this is. Is that is that is that a sniper dot? Indeed, that's a sniper dot. What is that? What is happening if that sniper dot hits my head? Well, I get shot in the head. What am I gonna do? I'm like, yeah, poof, I'm not standing there. I'm gonna stand behind this cover. Whoa, that was close. I'm gonna push the cart and then I'm gonna fall back. I'm all by myself and I'm waiting for my team. And uh, right now I'm all by myself and I'm waiting for my team on the high ground because if anything happens, you know, I have some escape routes. I mean, if people come here, I can run down and away. And if people come from here, I can run like up here. But actually my team is so far away and so much derp. Uh, this is actually gonna bite me in the ass because they actually have sealed down the entire area tight. And there comes a the pyro. I get the full Uber. I try to like pull up my medigun and Uber myself and then run away because you can do that with the Uber. So let's say, uh, the scenario is you have like 75% Uber and your healing target dies and you're all by yourself, surrounded by enemies. What you do is that you pull up your Uber saw and just stab somebody and then you pick, pull up the medigun and then you just run away. It's a pretty good, pretty good strat for a medic. You know, you can use uh, Ubers to attack and defend and yeah, attack and defend. You can use them for that. So generally what I really like is that if a heavy is, enemy heavy is out of position, he's like the main Uber feeder because you can get easily get off four stabs on a heavy without him dying because he has like so much health uh which is like a free uber why wouldn't you want a free uber so we're going to be looking at that on this map this is king of the hill badlands not to be confused with control point badlands which is the same map only that it's bigger and better so there we have a heavy he decides to take the low route and he thinks that's a spy and then stop shooting the spy for unknown reasons i'm charging the spy Notice that I fall back to reload, because if I reload out in the open, I'm super vulnerable, but I have a lot of teammates with me, so this is fine. 
I'm gonna continue healing this heavy again because as medic you do want to uh, heal as much as possible. And see, just by looking around, I see the spy decloak. Keep in mind, spies are really vulnerable when they decloak. I mean, they're really easy to see and uh, easy to kill as well. So let's look at this, and I'm like, oh, what's over here? All right, healing this heavy. All right, I'm healing him. I don't know if to see it. Like, is anyone thing back here? Yeah, another heavy. All right, heal him. Looking around, looking around. Oh yeah, short um, a little tip for if you're playing medic and you have trouble healing somebody, uh, you can just slide your crosser like this, like hold down the medic gun and just slide it like this, like a madman, and it will heal somebody. And also, let's say you want to heal this heavy. That's over here, this heavy, and this guy's the in the way. What you do is that you just jump and heal over him. That's how you do it. It's not snow monkey business, nothing magic, but it works pretty well. So now we're on the point, just defending, and people are spamming on the point. Got a full charge, I'm low on health. Just gonna fall back, and just in time to see the engineer gets killed holding this dispenser. Yet another reason why you shouldn't try to move around your stuff that much, because you can get killed by carrying it. So right now we're having a good uh, hold on the enemy team that has mages, snipers, and spies and scouts on their team, which is total shit. And uh, then I'm gonna uber a spy, you know, uber a spy, generally pretty good when your team is totally dominating the other team. And then we're gonna fall back. You know, we don't want to overextend, because keep in mind, the object of us is just to kill time for our the timer to run out, and then we're gonna win. This is what I mean by uber feed. Like, look at this heavy. Does he see me? Let's see. One hit. Two hits. All right, thanks, bye. All right, I got 50% free uber. Could've gotten more if he didn't kill. Whoa, all right, soldier. Oh, shit, okay, I fell down. I'm gonna run back up, heal my teammates, grab some health. Keep in mind, you got dibs on health kit when you're a medic. Which is really good. Gotta fall back, healing. Uh, we still got the points, so no problem there. We can be really careful. Keep in mind that if you play in a server, that is not total shit. That means it has regular respawn times. Uh, the red team will spawn faster than the blue team at this moment because the blue team has the points. So right now my Natasha Heavy is doing a lot of damage and just the uber popped. Wanted to uber that spy before he died, but I couldn't because the heavy is so fat he was in the way. Oh, those pork chops heavy. All those sandwiches makes you able to be so fat. So fat and so fat. So we're still defending the point, doing a good job. Keep in mind, notice, still always running, looking around. I do use the uh, option for um, automatic medic heal, so I don't actually can't show you my mouse because the core is not long enough, but I don't always hold down the button to heal because that's uh, tiring. So what you do is that you go into advanced option and there's like this option called uh, Medigun continuous healing without pushing buttons. So you just aim at someone and push the button one so you can hold it down, whatever. So that's what I mean by like com becoming like over super confident, all right? I saw the spy running here and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get the spy. But what I don't know is that this guy here, let's see, is that, where is he? Yeah, this guy. He uh, sees me and gets a nice headshot on me, and then I die. You know, if you're a sniper, if you see people, that is changing pretty good. Let's see, let's see. Next replay. It's gonna be, let's see, which one do we do? So, yeah. Counter push on payload barn blitz. This is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna be swapping it back back and forth a lot um, uh, of uh, different maps. That's what we're gonna do. So now I'm on red, I'm blitz, whatever, barn blitz. New map a few updates ago. My team has two medics, but not too many power classes. As you can see, we only have two soldiers, we and a demo man. So this is actually pretty good sentry placement for the for the sentry. Why is it a good position? Well, it's good because it's on the high ground for starters, and the engineer can run back and heal. So we're gonna work, work together here, and notice that I'm not running down and just, you know trying to be crazy or anything, trying to get a few stabs off in like our courtyard, but not that easy because they died before I got to them. So just running back here and building Uber, you know, all we need to do is stop that card. We do not need to run down there and kill a bunch of people because as long as they're not pushing, they can do whatever the hell they want, as long as they're not pushing. If they're pushing, we have to kill them, you know? Or if they're on the way to pushing the card, we have to kill them as well. So here we are, just standing on the high ground, always moving, looking around. Uh, you can be sure that where the sentry gun is pretty safe because if a spy that goes that comes that way, he'll most likely sap the sentry gun and that will alert everybody. So, uh, trying to hold up, uh, getting, uh, like, crit rockets everywhere, 
trying to hold as much as we can, healing the engineer is doing a crazy job on keeping that sentry alive. We've got 60 seconds left to do this. And, um... Just, notice I'm still standing on a high ground, because, like, there might come, like, a crit rocket or anything down here any minute now. And I just want to be sure not to get hit by those, you know. Falling back, I got full uber, and I want to go, and I'm like, Pyro, go. Alright, I'll go in front of you. Okay, let's burn everybody. And then the Pyro gets some lucky crits and just burns everybody. And at this point in time, uh, when you made a little push and you're on the defensive team, you should just fall back. But this pirate's like, no, I can kill everybody. Look at me. I'm so good. I can kill. Oh. Alright, that went pretty well, actually, for the pyro. And I'm up here battling. Battling stuff. And I died. We actually missed something I wanted to show. But, uh, why not pay attention to that pyro? That pyro is not important. I thought he died, but actually, he lied. He lived. So my prediction was wrong. Generally, when a pyro runs towards a heavy, the pyro's gonna die most of the time. Let's see. There we go. So here I run up, and I see a spy burning. Look at this. I'm just standing in the way where he is. I'm like, oh, you want to get past me? I don't think so. Bam. Yeah, take that. Move yourself to the face. Come here, pyro. All right, I got a oh bombs in the hole. Oh, shit, that did not go well. But hey, we uh, did a counter uber, and we did pretty well. Generally, you want to fall back, you know, a little earlier. As a medic, you don't want to die ever, pretty much. So let's see. Do, 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 do. We're not going to go look at the sucky centers yet. We're now going to go on to the map. Control point Badlands. We're going to be looking at a replay, which I just forgot the name of. So this will be a surprise for all of us when we watch this replay. It's going to be dude. Also, join my Steam group. The Steam group is great. Everybody should be in it. The control point is being contested. So we are here on Control Point Badlands. <laughs> this looks pretty similar to uh, the one that we just played on. And uh, we're healing, and there's like the heavy that never that ever turns around, you know, because we have planets around. It said the planets like, do not ever turn around, Mr. Heavy. You should not do that. So generally, the best way to attack this point, from my experience, is that we go here, just go up, and just fucking capture it. But my team has a plan that running close here, where the enemy has, like, a bastion of fucking defense and shit, is a lot better for unknown reasons. It's like, yeah, we should attack their defense at their strongest point, because that is where they least expect it. Uh, you know, some stupid Disney logic there. Or was it Avatar? Last Airbender, or something like that. So there we go, we actually made an effort here, and we're gonna try and go up the point. There's some sentries up there. See another medic over here gets taken down by something. I'm not sure. Yeah, scout right, healing the heavy that doesn't turn around. And uh, keep moving around, healing everybody because healing everybody does indeed charge faster. Seeing a demo there, wanted to get the stab on him, doesn't. Oh, uh, soldier, one hit. All right. Okay, two. No, no two hits. All right, I got full uber regardless. I was about to die, so I popped the uber out of desperation. Remember, an uber drop popped is better than an uber dropped. Who? So if you die with an uber, it's not as good as just to use one and not die. So, look at this. This, this situation uh, you can come across a lot with. You have one teammate that's trying to do some damage, and there's more. There's like two versus three, right? So generally at this position, you want, like, I want to get a stab on this demo man, but the pyro is way too close. And the pyro uses the degreaser, so he can just put me on fire and then hit me with his axe, and then I'll die in one shot. Uh, so I'm actually just letting my teammate die and be like, sorry, bro, I can't help you, because even if I healed you, you would die. Now I decide to fall back using my syringes, and I'm gonna try and go up on the spire and try to capture it because I know a teammate's up there and we got it. And there's tons of shit falling up on the point, and I get hit by a fucking laser in the belly, and we died, and it didn't go as well as planned. So that's just like some situational uh, priorities there. Like if you think like I might like I'm going to die if I stay here, just run. Because keep in mind, medic is the second fastest class in the game, and uh, yeah. So the next replay is still on, on uh, Badlands, and this actually showcases uh, not so much like the Ubersaw mechanic, but actually um, what it means to be a good and convincing spy, all right? Because uh, this guy really got me fooled. I mean, like, I killed him, of course, because I'm a boss like that, but... Uh, so we're just gonna uh, look at this, all right? So I come up here, right? And it's like, oh, some guys are over here, all right, healing. All right, do some medics and stuff like that, all right. We're trying to push around the hard side, you know, instead of going, you know, like that easy route, which is up, you know, here and around where there's nobody. Let's see what's up there. Do, 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 do. Is anyone here? No, nobody's here. Why the fuck are we going through their entire army? Which is like, 
hey, where everybody is, that's the route we're going to go. Because he's like, yeah, I'm heavy. Look at me. I have unusual height. You should follow me. <laughs> no, don't do that. Just, um, that's why you have scouts. You know, they run. And then you can say, this par path is open. You should go here. But the heavy is like, no, never give up. Never surrender. We have to attack a stronger point and then die in the process. So see the spy here getting a kill on my heavy and I stab him and he uses the dead ringer. He's dead. I do not know that, nor do I care. And now we're just gonna fall back because our power class died. We have three medics and not that many power classes to heal because our team has like some yeah not a good mix up. We want some more demo man, heavies or soldiers. The medic has popped his Uber. It's quite chaos going on right here. And I'm dealing as well. You know, being a good train, other pyro keeps air blasting the other pyro away. Notice that I'm still moving, you know, I'm not running away and, uh, you know, leaving people to die yet because I, I have, I've trusted my team and I know this guy can take it. Yeah, he actually takes down the medic. Pretty good, pretty good. Still keeping a close, long distance, because keep in mind, you do wanna, do not, <laughs> you do not want to get too close when you're a medic. You know, use, uh, play the medic and get, like, a good feeling of how long your range is. Um, and now we have a full uber and let's see if we can make something with it. And, uh, and, and like this pyro decides to go and fucking trace one scout all the way from uh, somewhere here across like half like one third of the map we tra we chase this one guy and the thing is like if you're okay this is a spy I was talking about if you're a scout and you manage to get three people to follow you and then you die your death has been worth it because you have made three people on the other team get away from their objective by making them go away from their objective you know like if you think of every everyone going at one on one, it's like kind of football. If like three guys tries to tackle one guy and this one guy just like dribbles them, there's like three guys less behind them and stuff, and it's not that good. But this is the spy. I keep talking about that. Enough football. Football is boring. Team Fortress is more fun. He's disguised as a soldier and he's very convincing. Because look at him. He's like not super keen getting up to anyone's backs. And I'm like, all right, this is probably a soldier. And I try to run through him. And I'm like, wait a second, that's not a spy. Yes. That is indeed a spy. Well, it's a soldier, not a... Sp it's a spy, not a soldier. See? Exactly. So he's going to stab him in the back, getting a kill on him. Even though I heal him, getting crits, you know. And this is the thing. Like, I notice that I run in first with the Uber, uh, which is pretty good. You don't want to be in the back and trying to switch Ubers. Remember, if you switch Ubers between m multiple people, uh, your Uber, Uber will drain a lot faster than if you just at one target, but you will be able to have more people invulnerable at a shorter period of time and do more damage and all that kind of funky business. So, yeah, just falling back, you know, don't want to overcommit or die or anything. Look, it's like, look, there's like nobody fucking here, all right? Why is my team not occupying this space? It's like, like their entire enemy force. Used to be here. Now everybody's just dead, you know, fatal heart attacks and crap. And then I just using my syringe gun, falling back, trying to heal some more people, but our team doesn't really have that many power class yet. Two engineers, you know, usually one engineer is enough. I'm hitting a scout with the Uber size really hard. You got one hit there, 25% free Uber. It's good. Notice how much I'm turning around because it's really useful because I know the enemy team has spies. And a good one for that. I don't know how we can stab once yet. Maybe generally pretty good against Pyro's healing, you know, medic healing, medics are really good. Getting hit down, falling down, want to run back up. And then dying from something that came from where we, from this guy right here, yes. So hopefully uh, we've laid down some foundation from the Uber saw. Uh, use the Uber saw in like when you're really hungry for an Uber and you think you're not going to die. Also use an Uber to finish someone off if you have like a team that's really good and they Decide to just leave the kill for you. Like some people might do that if they're really good and they know how the Uber so works. And um, then you get free. Like just isolating the enemy team. Let's say there's like an enemy soldier, right? And your enemy team, like let's say a pyro like burns him and then compression blasts him and he has to reload. He's basically just me. They just Uber feed. Uh, is what I mean. Especially heavies. It's just they're so slow uh, and have so much health. There's like so much for you around in those. And uh, this next uh, replay also show that you can actually handle pyros pretty well as a medic. You just need to be a boss and have balls of steel while you do so. And just like fucking kill people with it. Yeah. Like you need to have like a lot of experience situational learning what stuff doesn't work and work and just doing the thriller dance. 
I'm gonna run up here. There's people on the point here. My team will want to push, but they're not. They're still taking the fucking stupid way. I'm like, all right. And look at this. this people are actually having a hard time killing this pyro. But I just whip on my Uber saw, stab him, and that's how we do the business. Like if a pyro comes in as like three versus one, just pull up your Uber saw and kill him. Just like lot, you will get lots of opportunities, and then hopefully you know not die by a sticky spam from so from a demo man like three seconds later. But uh, we have seen some good uh, replays, and now we're gonna look at one that's called like a total fail and something that this is like do not do this. All right, this is like okay if you want to die and lose, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> and now your entire captured. team shot at you be like, why did you die there, medic? I not compute why you die there. Is surprise to me. Du -du -du. So we are Alert. running and stuff. And tested. the enemy team is contesting the point. And right now, I am the last line of defense. There's like a scout here who's capping the point. Keep in mind, if a scout captures this and we have no defense, he can just run in and cap the last point. So now he's gonna run in, and uh, I've actually repositioned myself around, and the scout's gonna run in. Like, Come here, scout, gonna hit with my deal? Yes, I have averted a crisis. I say today, my team doesn't even know because they're busy doing something somewhere else. So I see some on my team, a guy running with the equalizer, as you know, you cannot heal. And then uh, standing behind here, because you do want to indeed stand behind cover if the enemy is like a heavy. If you've been a demo man, I would have gotten the fuck out the point, which I'm doing right now. TTFOing off the point. And this is the bad idea. Do not charge a heavy straight on that has a heal with the Uber saw to get some free Uber. You'll die like this. Horribly. Ugh. But if the guy's almost dead, you can get some free Uber with your Uber saw. This is what you can do. So do 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 do. Let's see. Gonna look at another one, which is which ends in something quite usual if you play it on any public server with um, a lot of engineers on both teams. You know, if if you play on a map like Control Point, uh, Badlands, you want like maybe one engineer per team, not like three, and you want to be constantly attacking, not defending. So if both of the team have like seventy percent of their team defending, uh, you're gonna end up in a stalemate, and nobody's gonna win. So, uh, we generally do want to make a push here. Keep in mind, healing everybody, you know, gets Uber captured. built up faster. And people are on the point here. We have demo man spamming stuff, heavy gets crits, kills stuff. Not in a very good position. Still behind cover though, do not want to get sniped or anything like that. Seeing some business down there, let them handle it. This heavy decides, to, yeah, I'm gonna jump down and get him. And I'm like, alright, go, go get him. Alright, you got him. Good job, awesome. And uh, one thing I really want to emphasize on, especially with new players, that do not stand still and just shoot as a heavy. I mean, do, do, do go forward, do push, because as a heavy, you can be pretty scary. So we're on the point, you know, trying to capture and stuff, and we do get the capture. So as you can see, the other medic is standing completely still. I'm moving around like a madman. And this, like right now, what would be really good for this heavy would be to jump down and just kill people. But instead he's like, no, I'm gonna snipe as a heavy because I'm fucking genius. And then there's another heavy. I'm like, dude, I got full Uber, you should jump. Jump, come on, jump. And he's like, no, I cannot jump down. You have to stop me on fire, the mini god. Retreat, you tiny team, I hate the red people. And then I was like, I'm gonna Uber you and then attack. And he's like, no, I'm gonna say, oh, oh, I got Uber, all right, cool. Get him, get him. And then I'm gonna do some Uber extension here. Uh, seeing this demo man, getting up a couple hits of him. Healing the heavy again, not extending for too long. And we're about to push up on the final point here, but it's not going well because the timer is almost out. And everybody will lose eventually. Everybody loses, but they do not win. Yeah, that's right what happens when you don't attack. <laughs> Dumbass. Attack, damn it. That's what you do. Uh, so let's see, um, you know, I'm not sure if you're aware of the strange weapons, but like, the strange weapons are weapons that change their name depending on your kill count or heal count or uber count, or whatever. It's basically items that the more you use them, the higher your kills and grades they get. And there's one called server cleaning, um, something. 
And I wasn't sure exactly what they meant by server cleaning, but in Korea, when we totally stomp the other team, half of the enemy team rage quits, right? And then like half our team is uh, on the enemy team. And then we stomp them as well, and then they rage quit. So like every time the entire server gets cut in half, and that's what it's server cleaning. So if you're a good medic, you're general, and you have a good heavy and a good team, like soldier demo and stuff, you're generally gonna be doing a lot of um, server cleaning. Because keep in mind, in Korea, they are the worst to rage quit in Team Fortress 2 ever. I mean like, when they lose a game, they're like, oh, I lost. I guess I'll quit the game and play on a crap map like CP Orange or something. Pfft, not gonna change the class. Of course I want to be Razorback Sniper with a bow. And the Bushwaka, because that's so good. Anyway, back to the game. I'm just disappointed. So, we're just pushing the cart, you know, we have two medics, two heavies, a uh, soldier and a spy. Two spies and a scout that doesn't really do much. So, a spy, oh, there's a spy over here. Alright, do, 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 using my needles on him. Now I'm gonna get the stab on him, come here. Gotta try and stab, gotta try and stab. Yes! In the face! Free Uber for me. All right, getting a scout here. Gonna heal him because heal everybody is very good. You will be credit to team, and everybody will like you. Because you know? the thing is, like, if you only heal a heavy, and like a heavy is fully healed, and someone else runs up to you and they're burning and they die, they will fucking leave you to die. They will not protect you at all. So, heal everybody as a medic, and use the Uber saw to get Uber faster and be a boss. So this is just a total stomp, I mean the cart hasn't stopped moving once, and we're just totally annihilating the other team, which is- Oh, look at their composition! Well, it used to be sniper, soldier, soldier, demo man, something, something, sniper. Just a total stomp, winning, you know. The usual business for a medic, you know. And also, keep in mind that if the enemy builds a sentry gun, you don't have to kill that sentry gun if the sentry gun is in, like, a crap position. Like, if the sentry gun blocks off a path, just go around the path. We're gonna be seeing that uh, in a few moments later in our Dust Bowl series, which we will get to eventually, which is pretty, pretty good. It's probably the worst case of derp sentries I've ever seen in my entire life. Anyway, we're up here. I'm by myself. I'm a medic. I got the Uber saw. I'm gonna use the syringes to soften this guy up and try not to take any rockets. There's my heavy. Start healing him. Throwing a black beret because he is the boss. Similar to us. The blue team is the boss team today for some reason. And uh, there's a sentry over here, right? I mean, look. At, okay, let's just look at the sentry here. All right, there's a sentry with a dispenser in front of it. So you know, in case uh, you want to lose your entire fucking shit, uh, you just stay here. But anyway, uh, we moved our cart over here, and this sentry gun is not actually stopping anything so we're just gonna be like yeah well fuck that sentry we're just, we're just gonna bother with that we're just gonna go for scar you can have the sentry as much as you like we're just gonna go around this way come on baby let's go come on fatso they're like no i have to kill the sentry god because we have to do that now they're like no you have to come over here heavy you have to kill push the cart yeah that's what you like to do because you are fat man fat man push cart medic kill gun yeah okay he's good so, uh, also keep in mind as a medic, you can do like this, just run in the front and see scout and see if anyone's anything's up and then run back because of your speed and uh, Spy here takes a hit and I ducked. Holy shit, was that close? Let's see that again. I actually I actually weren't wasn't sure of how close that actually was, but that was pretty damn fucking close is what that was. So, uh, let's see here. As soon as it loads. All right, here we go. So, I want to see how close this is. Alright, so he shoots someone, let's see, in slow motion, because we can do that. Whoa, that was so close. Holy shit, that was like this close. Yeah, pop, 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 get him, get him, get him. Yeah, from the speed. There we go. So, we're pushing the cart, and as you can see, <laughs> the uh, enemy sentry gun. Still getting a lot of kills because the demo man is like, yeah, we have to kill that thing. It's blocking, um, nothing. And that's why we have to kill it. No, it's not blocking anything. You can leave it. And the thing is, well, the engineer died. But if you just leave it, people will be teleported here. And you can just kill those instead and just leave the sentry gun. So in the meantime, you know, we're uh, pushing. And I think we won a lot easier if the demo man and the soldier eventually didn't kill that sentry gun. 
Because the enemy team would be teleporting to that tele... Like, it would be like a sabotage teleport. And here I go. I have an idea. All right, I'm going to run around. I'm going to get some free Uber. Let's see if we can get the soldier. Yes, one hit. Two hit. Yes, all right, got him. That's 50% Uber right there. Now we're going to push the cart. Keep in mind, three people on the cart. Like, X3 is max speed. So generally what you want to do is you want to have scout, uh, like a scout plus an engineer on the cart. That's usually the best mix, especially in Highlander tournaments and as well in pub. It doesn't really matter that much. Now the engineer suddenly gets a clue and he's like, yeah, maybe we should defend the objective, guys. <laughs> and not like defend something that's not really important, like a truck. And a pyro kills my heavy. I'm all inside of syringes because I forgot to reload. And uh, just because I'm faster than a pyro, he doesn't even hit me with his flames because I'm such a boss of dodging. Because as a medic, you can be pretty good at dodging. One little tip as a medic. If a demo man is shooting pipe bombs at you, run forward. If they might if he misses you. If he's using sticky bombs, also use fo run forward and stab him in the face with your uber saw. That's what you do. You're gonna be falling back, jumping, keep in mind. Jumping is pretty good if, if like a rocket hits you, you'll be able to jump on enemy rockets. It's hard to do, but it's fun to do. And you can also strafe in the air with A and D. Which we're gonna be covering sometime later, I guess. And there's a sentry back here, I guess instantly blown up, Ubering everybody. And I'm switching to the Uber sub because I figured like, there's nobody here, we can just uh, capture this. And right now I want the soldier to face the enemy and not the back, because that's my job. And uh, generally use a lot of voice commands when you play medic, like use help and stuff. Uh, and if a medic yells help, pay fucking attention to him. Because uh, we got a uh, look at the heavy that never turns around and bit later. So look at the distance I kept from my heavy. That was a pretty large long distance, but uh, the soldier actually got me. But yeah, keeping a distance from your healing target is actually really good because, you know, it gives you a lot of momentum to move. Because if you're too close to your target and your target it gets hit, like by... Um, Let's say, uh... I lost my thread of thought. Never mind, let's move into the next replay. I need some more tea. Nice tea. Oh, it's really good. We're getting has sugar, which I need. Oh, God damn it, I spilled my, spilled my desk. Ugh, everything's failing today. You know what every gamer does right when you spill on your desk? You fucking clean it on your pants is what you do. So I have nice tea smelling pants. All right, so nothing too interesting happening here, so we're just gonna fast forward a bit. Running forward, running forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. attack, attack, arc. All right, getting um, missing a very important part of the replay, which I forgot because I'm such you know a noob. Um, let's see here. It's almost ready. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see if I can just turn the sound up. You guys heard how loud that was, right? Listen to that fucking sound. Like cloak sound, turn around. Dead ringer sound, turn around and shoot. That's what you do. Because if anyone had played Sniper without the Razorback, you will get super hearing from that. So look at this positioning here. Pretty good. I'm on the high ground. Healing targets on the low ground. Can they hit me? No. Can I heal my target? Yes. Is this uber kick ass? Yes! Yes, indeed it is. So, uh, the heavy decides to go over here. I tried to not get hit by the bombs. Standing on high ground. Oh, soldier in there. Get him. Yes, get him good. And then he decides to throw a sandwich and then die for some reason. I'm like, oh yeah, pyro. Yes, full uber. All right, I got a full uber. Let's go, heavy. Let's go. You know, nothing can stop us now. Come on, get him. Yeah, use the gun. Shoot everything. Kill him. Kill oh, there's nobody here. Alright, the sentry gun up there. All right, notice how I'm running in the front, which is really good. Making the sentry gun turn around and then blow up. Spontaneous combustion on the center part, done by the heavy, including the minigun, the anti-aircraft gun, which is actually anti-everything gun. Did pretty well, now I have to just push the cart and I really want the pirate to be in the front and burn people, but he's not using the flare gun against another pyro, which is not good. You know, keep, see, keeping the distance from the target, looking around to the sides, do not want to get stabbed by, oh shit, everybody died, this is really bad, All right? Save me! Save me, soldier, you have to get down there, don't sit up there, you have to kill, help me! And then I died, god damn it, what a dumb soldier. Oh, I need to be saved by him, but he let me die. What an ass. So, we're gonna, we're getting pretty close to our last replays here for today. 
So after this one, it is our Dust Bowl series, which is just showing you how important sentry placement is and how you can be a boss with a medic if the enemy, the enemy team sucks and uh, stuff like that. So without further ado, we'll not look at that. We'll look at something completely different, which is the exact same thing we've seen before. So um, this is uh, we still haven't quite pushed it yet, you know, because my team hasn't been as aggressive as they should. I mean, when you're on the blue team, you should not be afraid to die. Also, you should not like engage in like if the enemy has like six sentry guns, you do not run in there as a pyro. If you know what I mean? Because pyros are really weak against uh, guns. And now I see a demo man. He's using the <gasps> holy shit. He is using the grenade launcher that does more damage, but only has two bullets before he has to reload. If I get hit by them, I I'm dead. So this is kind of you know a gamble for me. I'm gamble that my <clears throat> strafing abilities will be better than his shooting abilities. And let's see how that goes. He misses one, he misses twice, 50%, uber, thank you, Mr. Demo Man. So now I'm 50% ahead just because this Demo Man can't shoot, you know, he's like a feed. So this is what I like about Demo Man when they're using like weapons they can't use. Alright, I got a full uber, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's a center that's up, alright, Pyro, I need you in the front, why are you at the car, Pyro, get to the, get to the front, Pyro. Crap, there's people behind us, I'm burning, alright, got him, and then I died, but it doesn't matter because in the end... The cart will roll forward and we rolled it into victory and we won and everybody was happy! Uh, so yeah. Now we will look at the last replays for today, which is gonna be our Dust Bowl series, which is called Sucky Sentries Part 1. Well, this is part one, the first one we're gonna be looking at. So just by having a sentry level three doesn't mean it's a good level sentry number three, because see <laughs> it has to actually do something. So, uh, also as a medic, try to lead your team. Be like the dog that heals, that like tells people where to go. So we are just gonna slide through, prevent time, like uh, setup time. And this heavy that never turns around, he wants me to go with him. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna run out here. So run out, pop the Uber, quite standard stuff. Notice that nobody's here. All right, nobody's here. We just capture this point. There we go, that's our point. Good, all right, so I'm just healing everybody, trying to build up a new Uber. We have the heavy that never turns around. Uh, not really sure that was a spy kills him, but I managed to get stabbed in the back as he stabs my heavy, you know. And then I get a little lag spike, that's fine, everything's cool, do, do, do healing a scout. I'm hearing a sentry gun, but not entirely sure where it is. Notice I'm always moving, and then, oh yeah, the sentry gun is up here. Huh, all right, I know there's a sentry gun here. And they probably just have one engineer, which means this sentry gun will not be able to defend this point if we go this way. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, as an enemy spy. Okay, I'm not gonna bother killing you. I'm just gonna fall back and wait for my team. Like, dude, dude, team, we have to go the other way. And they're like, no, I have to attack the sentry gun straight on because sentry guns are so good. And then he decides he gets killed by a spy. I'm like, oh, dude. Ugh. All right, counter to spy. Turn around. Did he turn around? No. And then we have a racer. <laughs> <laughs> Razorback, bow snap. And then we have a uh, teleporter. Ooh, nice. It goes exactly where I wanted to go. All right, spy. All right, you got him. Not sure that was a dead ringer. Listen to this. Pretty loud. So he gets a stab on the uh, pyro, and I get the stab on him, and I got full uber. I'm like, yeah, heavy, come on. Come on, ignore the sentry gun. We just have to go to the point, because the sentry gun doesn't actually cover the point. It actually covers, well, not a lot, actually. And as you can see, there's nothing here. So, but the heavy's like, No, we have to kill the sentry gun because the sentry gun has to go down. I'm like, no, no, dude, just fuck it. Just come with me, come with me. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. All right, right, oh shit, I got stuck by the pushback. All right, go back, go back. All right, on the point, on the point. And this is super important. I still got Uber left, but I changed my weapons. So I can start the capture faster. And also, yeah, stuff like that. See how this goes. All right, capping, 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 capping. All right, healing the heavy. Yes, we won. Ha! Huh. Was this sentry gun of any use? Of course not. It was like, like that sentry gun was pretty. Is what it was. It was a fart sentry gun. Is what it was. Yeah. So uh, that made probably the enemy team feel pretty stupid. But the engineer was like, "Oh, how could I fail? I had like a level three sentry gun, and they're so good." Ugh. Hi, Lone Wolf. There's a guy in chat. Mission begins in 67. So we pretty much stomped them the first round. You see, I got 17 points. 
the rest majority of the uh, others have less than four points. You know, this says a bit about skill. You know how good I am. Yeah. Medic gets four points. So just being up waiting for a set of time to end. All right, five for three to one. Let's go. Come on, heavy. Let's go. All right, running out. And they use crits, and uh, Uber is better than crits because he can kill people. Pyro in the back. Stabbing in once, standing by Uber a bit, and for actually forgetting to check my back, and that's gonna bite me in the ass. Thanks, Spy. But you know, you can't be immune to Spy. Ever. Even with a Razorback. Oh, God damn, I hate that item. Razorback is so crap. So, yeah, that was like slight extension, and just like a minor slip up by just turning around. Not so often actually gets you killed. But that doesn't matter, you know, we learn from our mistakes, and after like. Like, what I usually do when I play is that if I'm not stabbed by a spy, I will not look for spies. If I get stabbed by a spy, I will be careful of a spy. So he has, like, guess with me, the spy has, like, sort of um, the uh, element of surprise for a little while. And if the enemy has a lot of uh, enemy uh, spies, you know, it's kind of obvious that they're a spy. And I, oh, that's a spy! That's why I turn around. No, the heavy never turns around because he's that kind of guy. Yes, indeed, I want to go out with dinner later. Indeed. Anyway, we see uh, the sentry gun being over here. Uh, and the soldier, he uses the uh, rocket launcher, which is total shit against buildings. This is not gonna work at all whatsoever. And, uh, yeah. So, oh, it's a sniper up here. Alright, get the razor back. Stabbing him once. Yes, getting full uber. And spa uh, like bow sniper versus a minigun is not really good. And I'm like, yeah, I got a full uber, guys. Let's attack. And then, no, let's atta not attack. Okay, you're gonna die. All right, good. N not good. I was told shit, by the way. Using the uber, I'm like, yeah, let's get the sentry gun. Nice. Uber demo versus sentry gun is pretty effective when the demo runs in the front. And look at this. Now I have to capture the point. So I run up here, and I'm like, oh, I'm on the high ground. Well, I'm gonna stand back here, so you can burn. All right, help me. Help me. You're all birded. All right, cool. I think I'm going down, grab some health, I'm back at full health, and we're ready to kick more ass. Do, do, do. Healing everybody, being a full boss, and uh, now we're going to run into a slight problem, because the enemy has a shit ton of sentry guns ahead. Like you can hear, there's like two or three of them. So the heavy is just going to charge right out, and get instantly stabbed again, because he doesn't know what it means to turn around. And uh, as you can see, there's like quite, quite the amount of sentry guns. All right, I was like, oh, this is a pretty, pretty hard to break. You know, they're on the high ground and everything. But um, there's actually nothing here. So we had a demo man just being like, yeah, well, I'm just gonna run do, 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 over here. That's exactly what he did. This one guy on the point, being a demo man, blocking everybody from going on the point, and then we won because the sentry guns didn't actually protect anything except the pathway. So make have, make sure to have sentry guns protect the point, and not just pathways, because that is really really important. So let's see here. Let's see next replay. This is on the final stage of Dust Bowl, the second last replay for today. Mm, this tea is good indeed. So, Mission begins in 60 seconds. just gonna speed up through the uh, setup time because that's not really important. And do you think the enemy team has learned from their mistakes? They've been bitten in the ass two times because they had the sentry guns in crap positions. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. All right, running out. There's nothing here. Okay, keep going. All right, popping the Uber. All right, killing everything. Nobody's gone on the point, right? Guess I'll do. Using the same strategy from last time, pulling up my Ubersaw. Then shooting, waiting for the point to be ours. Find is ours, let's go. Everybody's attacking, everybody's doing well. Heavy that never turns around is actually turning around not. <laughs> that he is not. Not not turning around. Then <laughs> he gets stabbed again. Look at the mess. And uh, that's right. So we have snipers with Razorback, you know, being as useless as they possibly can. Um, seeing a spy here, removing the Razorback from one of the snipers, leaving him quite open for a stab later on. You know, see the Razorback not really protection after all. Just healing everybody, trying to get up at Uber while we can push. Because you see, when we don't have any power classes like the uh, heavy demo or soldier, we can't really make a push. 
because like the other classes we don't deal damage as fast as they do. So like why we call them hard classes. So yeah, healing everybody, we have the heavy, I got a full Uber and I'm ready to go. Just shooting everybody. Doing the damage, doing the business. Like, come on, let's go. We gotta go. Come on, Mr. Heavy. We gotta attack because attacking is good. We gotta hit them before they get their defenses up. All right, shit. Holy shit. All right, all right, all right. All right, this is fucking dangerous, right? Don't do this, all right? I'm covered in Gerardi. I'm covered in piss, right? And he has the knife that one hits me with his knife. So he only needs to hit me once. I need to hit him like three or four times depending if he got heal or not. Let's see how this goes. I'm like, Heavy, help me. Help me. And then he gets stabbed and I we get killed simultaneously because that's how we roll, apparently. Something like that. And, uh, yeah, that didn't go too well. And, uh, we're gonna look at the last replay for today, which is the most epic replay for today, because, like, any show, you gotta start big and you gotta end big. Did I start big today? I don't know, but I think I did. Indeed. So, we gotta get ready for the last push. We've been with us all the way from the beginning to the end of Dust Bowl. We've been attacking, we've been owning these noobs up in here. Pretty good, pretty good. So, seeing a demo over there, turning around, healing, keep in mind, as I've said many times before, keep looking around. You, you want to have a quite high sensitivity when you play a medic, because like healing people, you can just hold down the button and scroll around, you know, and you'll heal somebody. You do not have to be accurate healing at all. So even if you're like not a good player, let's say you have like horrible aim, then uh, medic is uh, probably a good class for you, because you'll be super ultra important, you'll be part of every single push, and everybody will love you, and you'll be a boss, and you'll be cool, and uh, yeah. Just get the Uber saw thing business in order and you'll be fucking unstoppable. So we're trying to make a push here, and uh, do you think they have like an adequate uh, sentry defense? I mean, you should think they have, you know, because like the other two types it didn't. So we are shit, it's kind of hard to make a push here without the sentry guns. Maybe this demo will be able to do something because the demo that's Ubered is really good against sentry guns if he's able to get close. Soldier is also good, not as good, and heavy is like mediocre depending on the distance. So hey, we're pushing the. The thing, magic, and uh, lots of bombs on the far end. Oh, damn! I got launched quite a distance. Now I'm all over there, all by myself. Right? Oh shit! 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 All right, fall back here. Fall back here. Gotta fall back here. All right. All right. This. I'm like, I'm all by myself. I got shot over from like a fucking sentry gun and a bunch of bombs. There's a sentry gun here, and a sentry gun here. Do they cover the point? Is the question. Do they cover the point? But you know, I'm here by myself. And I need to take a chance. Take a chance come on, alright. Shooting the demo. No, the engineer, alright. Reloading, alright. Come on, come on. Take the teleport. Take the teleporter, alright. No, okay, fuck it. I'm gonna go for the point. I'm on the point, alright. I'm down on the point. Alright, nobody's shooting me. Nothing is shooting me. Alright, we gotta capture this. I'm all by myself. Everybody's attacking me. I'm ready. I got him. And we won! Yeah, alright. That's how we roll, man. That's how we roll. So yeah, that's gonna sum it up for today. That was the last replay. Thank you, Virus, for submitting. So yeah, that was the Ubersaw. Unlock for Medic. You can get it by drop. You can craft it. You can get it by doing achievements. You'll get it eventually. I think it is the best unlock for Medic by far. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I also have a Steam group you can join. Uh, all kinds of information will be there. And also, I want you to submit replays to me. And... Uh, I'm now currently going in the direction where I'm going like spy, sniper, medic, NG, heavy, demo, pyro, soldier, scout, backwards. So next Wednesday is going to be the engineer. And what I'm going to cover is the wrangler uh, unlock for the engineer, how to use that properly and how to be kick ass with that. So it's going to be an engineer episode. Uh, it's not only going to be about that. It's going to be similar to this where we talk about other stuff as well, like center positions and uh, good strategies, bad strategies. Like, do you actually cover the point which you just saw? God damn, what a bunch of news is. Like, yeah, we're going to build centers here that doesn't cover anything. Herp a derp a derp. Yeah, we're so good. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, join my Steam group, and I will see you guys this Wednesday. All right, peace out. And you can watch this in the archive if you aren't already. Thanks, and have fun. That's what Gabe Newell said. <laughs>